Are you struggling with migrating your healthcare data to Epic EHR without disruptions? In this video, we'll show you how to do it seamlessly. Hi, I'm Lisa, and welcome to OSB. Today, we will tackle one of the biggest challenges in healthcare IT, data migration. Specifically, we'll guide you through how to migrate data from legacy systems to Epic EHR seamlessly. This step-by-step -step guide will help you ensure a smooth and successful transition. Before I tell you about how to seamlessly migrate data from legacy systems to Epic EHR, let's understand Epic Data Migration first. Epic Data Migration, in simplest terms, transferring data from existing EHR system to Epic EHR. Moreover, healthcare entities leveraging Epic EHR customization are at risk of losing crucial patient information. So for successful EPIC data migration, stakeholders require an experienced team and adopt best practices. EHR data migration process is divided in five phases. Let's understand them in detail. Phase one, understanding data migration. Data migration is the process of transferring data from one system to another. In our case, it's moving data from legacy systems to the EPIC EHR. This process is crucial for maintaining data integrity, improving patient care, and ensuring compliance with healthcare regulations. However, data migration is no easy task. Common challenges include ensuring data accuracy, minimizing downtime, and dealing with compatibility issues between systems. Proper planning and execution are essential to overcoming these hurdles. Phase 2. Preparation the first step in preparation is assessing your current data systems. Understand the types of data you have, where it's stored, and how it's currently used. Conduct a thorough inventory of all data sources and systems involved. Next, define the scope and objectives of your migration project. What specific data needs to be migrated? What are your success criteria? Setting clear goals will help you stay focused and measure your progress. Form a dedicated migration team. This team should include IT specialists, data analysts, and healthcare professionals. Assign specific roles and responsibilities to ensure everyone knows their tasks and can collaborate effectively. Phase 3. Planning the migration. Now, let's talk about data mapping. This is the process of matching data fields from your legacy system to EPIC EHR. It's crucial to ensure that data is accurately transferred and remains functional within the new system. Use data mapping tools or spreadsheets to document this process. Selecting the right tools and methods is essential. There are various ETL, extract, transform, load, tools available that can simplify this process. Consider using tools that are compatible with both your legacy system and EPIC EHR. Custom scripts can also be written to handle specific data migration tasks. Create a detailed migration plan. This plan should include timelines, milestones, risk management strategies, and contingency plans. A well-structured plan will help you stay on track and address any issues that arise during the migration process. Phase 4. Executing the migration. The first step in executing the migration is data extraction. Carefully extract data from your legacy system, ensuring that all necessary data is included and that no data is lost or corrupted during the extraction process. Next, transform and clean the extracted data. This involves converting the data into a format compatible with EPIC EHR and removing any redundant or outdated information. Validate the data to ensure accuracy and consistency. Finally, load the cleaned and transformed data into EPIC EHR perform initial tests to ensure the data has been correctly loaded and that all systems are functioning as expected. Address any errors or discrepancies immediately. Phase 5. Post-migration activities. Post-migration thorough testing and validation are crucial. Conduct unit tests, integration tests, and user acceptance tests to verify that the data is accurate and the system is functioning properly. This helps to catch any issues before full deployment. Train your staff on how to use the new EPIC EHR system. Provide comprehensive training sessions and resources to ensure everyone is comfortable with the new system. Offer ongoing support to help address any questions or issues that arise. Continuous monitoring and optimization are necessary to ensure the system runs smoothly. Regularly check for any performance issues or errors 
and optimize the system as needed. This will help maintain efficiency and effectiveness over time. Moving on, healthcare entities must consider these factors when migrating data to Epic EHR. Number one is data compatibility. Data compatibility involves ensuring transfer of data from legacy system to Epic EHR system without any loss. Number two is ensuring legacy data is accurate and proper for migration. Number three is customizations and integrations, which is modifications required by Epic EHR system as per organization's needs. Number four is interface inventory. This means taking stock of existing interface and designing the new interface. Number five is data backup and recovery, which involves backing up the data before migration in case of loss. Best practices for data migration to customized Epic EHR. Understand customizations. Epic EHR systems are often customized to meet specific organizational needs. Understanding these customizations is crucial before starting the migration. Review all custom fields and workflows to ensure they are accounted for in the migration plan. Data quality and integrity. Ensure the quality and integrity of the data being migrated. Cleanse the data to remove duplicates, correct errors, and standardize formats. This will help avoid issues in the new system. Testing and validation. Thoroughly test the data migration process before full-scale execution. Perform test migrations to validate the accuracy and completeness of the data. Use test cases that cover all aspects of the customized EPIC EHR. Staging environment. Use a staging environment to test the migration process. This allows you to identify and resolve any issues in a controlled setting before the actual migration. It also helps to ensure minimal disruption to ongoing operations. Training and documentation. Provide comprehensive training for all users of the new EPIC EHR system. Ensure that all staff are familiar with the customized features and workflows. Create detailed documentation to support ongoing training and troubleshooting. Continuous monitoring and support. After migration, continuously monitor the system for any issues. Provide ongoing support to users and be prepared to make adjustments as needed. Regularly review system performance and data integrity. This concludes the discussion. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more tips and insights on healthcare IT. For additional resources, check out the links in the description below. For more details on Epic Data Migration, you can visit www.ospLabs.com. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Until then, stay tuned.